boys and girls, and welcome to Learning with Miss Nancy. And today we're going to learn about another part of speech. How many parts of speech are there? Yes, eight parts of speech. Very good. And we've already talked about the pronoun, right? So today we're going to talk about the interjection. That's our word for today. Interjection. And again, looks like a big, it's a big word. Yes, there are a lot of letters, but don't get intimidated by the letters because we're going to learn to divide this word into syllables into sounds so that we can pronounce the word, spell the word, use the word in a sentence and understand its meaning. The word is interjection. Say it, interjection. Good, tell the ceiling, interjection. Tell the floor, interjection. Tell the wall, interjection. Tell the door interjection. Now, put on your thinking caps. How many sounds or syllables do you hear in the word interjection? Well, let's clap it out. Interjection. Yes, four sounds, four syllables. Very easy. And we're going to add this word to your word box or your word bank or your word jar. Interjection. Now, we know that an interjection is one of the eight parts of speech, but what part is it? An interjection, they're normally very short words. Words that express a sudden emotion, a sudden burst of emotion that you express, right? You can, uh, you'll read interjections in text, or you can say interjections wherever you are, depending on how you feel. It's a sudden burst of emotion expressing how you feel. Now, here are some words that you use every day or you hear every day, and you might not have known that they're interjections. But as of today, you will know when you hear these words that they are, yes, interjections. Here are the words. Ouch. Boo, duh, yay, oops. Have you used those words or heard those words before? Ouch, when someone uh, steps on your toe. Boo, you'll hear that at a basketball game when someone makes a, uh, uh, makes a foul shot. Duh, when someone doesn't understand you. Yay, yay, when you've won a prize or you're happy. Oops, when you made a yes, a mistake. These types of words are interjections. They express how you feel in a sudden burst of emotion. Yes. Here's some others. Shh. When you go to the library, the, the librarian might say, shh. Or mommy might say, shh. She's putting the baby to sleep. Wow. When you see something fantastic or you hear some great news. Pew. That means something doesn't smell too good. Yeah. Whew. Like you're tired, exhausted, or you're glad that's over. So, shh. Wow. Pew. Whew. Okay. These are interjections. And there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of interjections that we use each and every day. Now, one thing you have to remember when you're writing an interjection, and you'll be writing them soon when you get older, but as you read storybooks, you'll see these short words. They're very, most of them are very short. Congratulations is an interjection. That's a longer word, but most interjections are short and they express a sudden emotion. And when you have a word in a sentence that shows an emotion, we put what we call an exclamation point. That's the line with the dot at the end. That indicates that that's emotion that you're showing, some type of emotion. So for wow, we would put exclamation, pew, exclamation point, Whew. exclamation point. So I'm just saying that as you read, and you may not know all the interjections 
how to pronounce it, but when you see these short little words with the exclamation point, you will know that it expresses a sudden emotion, right? And they are interjections. Let me make it a little bolder for you. Let's do the next group. Ouch. Interjection. See? Line with a dot. Exclamation point. Boom! Interjection. So you have to put exclamation point when you write it. Yes. Duh! It's an interjection. Put the exclamation point. Yay! Interjection, put the exclamation. So you're getting so good at this. Oops, made a mistake. It's an interjection and you put the exclamation point. So interjections are very interesting and exciting words. And it really makes your reading and your writing and your speaking exciting. Yes. Okay, so that's interjection. Part of speech that shows a sudden burst of emotion. Yes. And it usually is followed by, what's that uh, uh, punctuation mark called? Exclamation point. Oh, I'm giving you a lot of information, but you guys are, guys and girls are very smart. So let's divide the word interjection into sounds, into syllables. And once you see how we divide this word, you will find it a very easy word to learn how to spell and to read. Mm -hmm. You will. First sound, in. There it is. I N. Second sound, ter. Very good. T E R. Third sound, jek. There it is. J E C. You're so smart. And you already know we talked about this the other day. And in some of my earlier videos, T I O N. S-I-O-N at the end of a sentence makes the yes, shun. See, you knew that first. Good job. In, ter, jack, shun. See how easy that is? And we divided this big word into sounds, into syllables, which helps us understand how to pronounce the word. You're so smart. In, ter. Jack shun interjection. Good. Now let's spell the word together. And I want to hear you nice and loud. Are we ready? Let's begin. Mm -hmm. Good. Fantastic. And the word is interjection. Interjection. You are so, you know, this is an easy lesson for you because you are super duper smart. And I created this simple little song. I just wrote it a few minutes ago for you. And let me see if you like it. I'm going to do it a cappella. And that means that you're singing a song without instrumentation. No instruments, just my voice. My voice is the instrument. So it goes, ouch, boo, hooray, pew, are interjections, interjections, yummy, duh, fooey, uh-huh, are interjections, interjections, and interjection is a part of speech that tells just how you feel, is a sudden emotion to let the world know that what you feel is oh so real, so shh, and woo. And wow and oops are interjections, interjections, interjections. <laughs> Not bad, right? Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just wanted you to understand the importance of learning the eight parts of speech because as you grow and learn, you'll be ahead of all of your other classmates because you'll learn this. And when you're in school, first grade, second grade, third, and the teacher starts going over interjections, you'll just sit there and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And then they'll call on you and they'll say, do you know any interjections? And you'll say, oh, I know a whole lot of them, ma'am. And you'll give the answer to the teacher and she'll just give you a lot of stars because you are super duper smart. Now take a listen to a song and it's talking about don't let the clouds cry. Can you imagine clouds crying? Clouds cry when it rains. Yeah, they get so filled up. <laughs> Then all the rain comes down. So we don't like the clouds to cry because we like to play outside, right? Take a listen. Like that, ta-da! I made that just for you because when I make songs, I always make them with you on my mind. So that concludes learning with Miss Nancy. And remember to tell all of your family and friends to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye. <laughs>